I really wish they made more books that were this size. This is like a very interesting size for a book. Look at the size of my hand and look at the size of this book. So in this video, I'm basically going to be showing you a very rare book from my collection. I collect math books, uh, science books. This one is really cool. The size is really cool. Lasers and their prospects, Mir Publishers, Moscow. And it was written by, it looks like it says N. Sobolev. And yeah, N. Sobolev. All right, so we're just gonna go through, and I'm just going to do my best to just give you an idea of what the book is about. We're gonna go through the contents. Uh, I should mention uh, what Mir Publishers uh, Moscow is. I guess like we can read this, this tells us, this tells you exactly uh, what it is. Um, I discovered uh, these types of books a few years ago, by the way, uh, because people here on the channel left comments. And the reason I'm mentioning that is because if you have a book that you think is interesting, um, leave a comment in the comment section. I'm always interested in book recommendations. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a math book, if it's a physics book, if it's a computer science book. I I'm always interested, especially in classics. Um, I feel like rare books and classic books, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know. I, I just think they're cool, I'm a collector. So so anyways, uh, enough about obsessing over that. Let's, uh, let's read this together. Mere Publishers of Moscow publish Soviet scientific and technical literature in five languages, English, French, Spanish, German, and Arabic. So I have, I have some in Spanish. Uh, titles include textbooks for universities, technical schools, and vocational training literature on the natural sciences and medicine, including textbooks for medical schools and schools for nurses, popular science, and science fiction. The contributors to Mir Publishers list are leading Soviet scientists and engineers in all fields of science and technology and include more than 40 members and corresponding members of the USSR Academy of Sciences. Skilled translators provide a high standard of translation. Wow, from the original Russian. That's gotta be so hard. Uh, many of the titles already issued by Mir Publishers have been accepted as textbooks and manuals, yes, uh, at educational establishments in India and other countries. Yeah, and in a lot of Latin American countries too. It says uh, their books in foreign languages are exported by and then gives you some company name there so yeah so I have some in Spanish as well and I know that um, in other um, countries like in a lot of Latin American countries these books are used I know that because I have another channel so if you speak Spanish check it out uh, I have a channel in Spanish it's just math sorcerer you know Espanol Sobolev lasers with their prospects this is really cool I like how it has like this little thing here so this was a uh, in a library, it's called an X library or EX library book because it's no longer in the library. So here's where it was. Liffergill College, I can't read that. Um, the Library University College of Wales, Aberystwyth. Wow, yeah, wow. Wales, wow, wow. There's a place that you know you never think about, right? University College of Wales. I've never been to Wales. I would love to go to Wales. Someday I would, I, I would go to Wales. <laughs> so maybe, I don't know if this college still exists. It'd be really cool to visit it, right? Be like, this is where the book came from. You know, so much history uh, in these books. I'm sorry, I just have to smell it. Just, it's, it's good, but it's a little musty. Some of, some of my books from your publishers are a little bit musty. I think I got them from the same seller a long time ago. I bought like six books, and they were probably stored under the same circumstances. So here's something in Russian. I, I, I don't read Russian. And then... Uh, N. Sobolev, translated from the Russian by V. Porto. I like how his name is in all caps. Mir Publishers, Moscow. Whoa, what's this? It's stamped. First published, 74. Oh, there's that word again. The University College of Wales, and there's a number there. And then it says, English translation, Mir Publishers, 74. This is like history here. The nature of light, particles or waves, photons, quanta of light atom as quantum system generators of light a lot of interesting topics application of lasers this makes me think of uh there's this there's this movie it's an 80s movie um you've, you've probably it's from the 80s you've probably never heard of this if you have please leave a comment it, it's called real genius and in that movie uh, val kilmer's in the movie and there's this other guy he's this skinny dorky kid 
And it's just a great math movie. It's a great math and science movie. Anyways, in the movie, the, the, the big part of the plot is that there's like they're building like this laser, which is supposed to be like this dangerous weapon. <laughs> so here we have a book on lasers. So I feel like I'm the bad guy uh, in the movie showing you this book. Uh, because, you know, the students in the movie were like, oh, you can't build it. It's too dangerous. You know, it's, they were building it for war purposes and stuff. So uh, the students were kind of against that. But, yeah, Real Genius, it's called. Check it out. Definitely recommend that movie. Uh, very great movie. Val Kilmer is ridiculous in that movie. Lasers and science. The prospects of lasers. What's to say here? Let's check this out. Hardcore. Lasers are one of the biggest achievements made in the second half of the 20th century. Lasers are quantum generators working in the optical region of the spectrum, or simply generators of light. The principle on which their work is based is the amplification of electromagnetic oscillations by means of forced or induced radiation of atoms and molecules. This kind of radiation was predicted by Albert Einstein, wow, as long ago as 1917 when he studied the equilibrium between the energy of atomic systems and their radiation. Therefore, it would be perhaps true to say that the history of the creation of lasers begins just as early. Wow, Einstein, Einstein, right? I mean, epic. And so the size of this book, I'm holding it with one hand, it's like a little like a little Bible. I don't know. It's just very like the nature of light, particles or waves. The world in which we live is full of light. Light is radiated by the sun, by stars, by glowing electric lamps, by a burning match, and by dazzling flashes of lightning. Light enables us to see the beauty of the universe around. But what is light? What are the nature and structure of it? What processes in matter cause light radiation? Lasers. Right? Here's an electromagnetic wave. So this is, this is three dimensions. So from a math perspective, um, you would first, I mean, at least in a college level setting, you would first see this in a calculus three class. The beginning you start with, uh, usually the first chapter is, uh, is on three-dimensional space and you learn things about vectors and things like that and so you work with a system like this. Dependence of spectral concentration of radiant emittance on a wavelength. Atom as quantum system. Well here's some equations and stuff. The Boltzmann formula. Yeah, these books are, are pretty advanced. Usually these books, um, these books by mere publishers, uh, are, are quite advanced. Uh, they're not typically for beginners. I have, I think probably like, perhaps like the, whoa, what's this? Perhaps the, I'm gonna get some tea. Uh, perhaps the, the easiest ones I have um, that like I think most people on this channel would understand, I think is, is the differential equations one. I have one. Uh, by mere publishers that's on differential equations. So I'm just going to drink some tea here. Oh, that's good. That's really, really good. It's green tea. Green tea. By the way, this cup is from my merch. I have merch. Yeah, I know. Um, most people don't, don't look at my merch, so I thought I should talk about it. So I made it so it's like the first thing on my merch. It's kind of expensive, though. Um, I bought it. I bought it. I just bought one, though, because... Cause, uh, it's not, it's not super cheap, but um, I'm not sure if I can change the price, um, but it's easy and it works. And it's a decent cup. It's kind of small, but um, someone was using it the other day, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. So I started using it, and now I kind of like it because it's not too big. So I can take it with me. Like right now, I'm outside. And it's held up pretty good. Like the bottom has a little bit of wear and tear. I've had it for like a couple of years now. Um, so it's been a while. So it's still, it's still holding up. So I guess that's good. So maybe that's why... Um, it's a little bit pricey, I feel. But yeah, check it out if you want to check out some merch. Um, but yeah, I got to get some new shirts too, and some new, maybe some like new designs. Uh, I have a friend who keeps telling me that my merch is really bad. Which it's okay though. Someday I will uh, Im improve that. I need a design like that. I mean, that's 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 cool, right? Lasers and their prospects. Just just epic. Just epic. 
But yeah, kind of an interesting book. Uh, if you know anything about lasers or if you're involved in this or in physics, um, leave, leave any comments. Well, what do you think about this book? Um, um, it's just something that's kind of, uh, kind of, what's this? Battery of, ex kind of different battery of exciting semiconductor lasers. Wow. Wow, old school pictures, probably hand drawn, right? So like whoever, you know, created this, I mean, those look hand drawn. I mean, this is old book. Anyways, yep, subscribe if you want. Um, it always helps to have more subs, right? I also have another channel. Um, it's called The Internet Sorcerer. I just post random stuff there sometimes, just random stuff. Um, and also, um, I have courses. They're on my website. Well, actually, they're on Udemy, but if you get them, please use the link from my website, mathsorcerer.com. Uh, one, because I lowered the prices, and two, because it helps me greatly. So check out my courses, uh, mathsorcerer.com. Excuse me, I've got courses on everything, um, like math, right? So not lasers and their prospects. College algebra, uh, that's probably the easiest one I have, and it's a good course. It's a good course. It actually has assignments and answers and stuff, and it has a lot of content, hours, hundreds of videos in order, organized. Uh, then I've got a ton of calculus courses. Those are pretty good. Some are better than others. Uh, then I've got some differential equations courses, um, advanced calculus, abstract algebra. Those are pretty good, too. They're, they don't cover everything you would learn in an abstract algebra class or advanced calculus class, but they cover a, a good amount, and it's covered well. Like, the proofs are correct, right? I, I think they're solid. It's, it's good mathematics. You'll learn some good math. So I think, I think that can help uh, people. Anyways, until next time, keep doing math.